What's going on, YouTube family? Matthew with Medicated Vision Tricks here. And today I thought I'd do a little review for you. Um, sorry. Once again, I'm fucking with my laptop. Okay. Alright. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing my personal opinion review of the... Boom. The Plume Veil R-D-A. She is a beaut. Anyway, just thought I'd give you a quick little, throw a quick cloud up there. But anyway, let's get up close and personal with this bad boy. I have, this is my first RDA, people, let me tell you, so maybe I'm a little biased. Um, I've tried other, other RDAs, but I've never owned my own RDA, if that makes sense. I've used other people's RDAs, and I've, you know, whatever build they happen to have in it or whatever, I, I don't really know. Um, and I, and I liked it, but I didn't see it, you know, being any, any, I was always a tank guy, and I've been a tank guy up until I received this, but I got talked into it by a friend of mine, uh, Nick Cox, thank you for watching this, Nick, uh, you my man, anyway, so, about the plume veil, uh, uh, as you can see, I got the copper one, it is indeed copper, so that, it looks really cool. I plan on getting a copper mechanical mod sometime in the near future. Uh, 18650 mods, so it'll sit flush with it. I've seen the copper plume bales on copper, like Fu Hatton mods or whatever. They look really fucking pimp. But um, one thing about the copper is it does pick up that patina that copper picks up really quick just with the handling of it. You know, like it's dark and dirty, and you can pull it, I mean, you can see it, I mean, it was bright and shiny when I first got it, just from handling it, using it, whatnot, you know, you're gonna get some discoloration, some patina, but some people like that, you know, and if not, you can always, you know, there's, there's products, or just give it a good old-fashioned elbow grease cleaning, but anyway, I keep mine relatively clean, but let's get a little bit closer with this thing, and tell you what I like and what I don't like about it. So first off, and what most people that I've, uh, when I was making my decision on what RDA to purchase, what a lot of people brought up, and the first thing I'm going to bring up is the insane amount of airflow that's going on with this motherfucker. You have airflow from, I don't even know how many points, but I'll name them off for you. So uh, starting out, obviously, you have the big holes on the side. One two so you can run it in dual coil mode or single coil mode those are the big holes you can close those off real easy by spinning the drip tip you can have it set to where one is open see you can have it set to where your one is open and one is closed for single coil or vice versa for dual coil I have a single coil in there right now. Let's take a look at her. Let's get this deck off here. Just if you're wondering, I'm running this off the only mod I have right now, which is the E-Leaf Eye Stick. It's working great with it. No complaints whatsoever. So let's get this bad boy off. I love the 24, or the, I don't know if it's 24 karat gold, but it's gold plating on all the deck. All the decking is gold plated. I believe it is 24 karat, karat gold plated. And on the, uh, I believe on the bottom too. Or maybe it's just, that. but anyway, it's 24 karat gold plated deck. It has, it has, it's a four post build, which I really like. Um, you know, like I said, I'm new to RDAs. Um, I think I'd be perfectly capable of doing a three, uh, dual, dual coil on a three post, but it just makes it that much easier. So I, I would recommend to anybody for your first RDA, go with a four post design. Anyway, I also like that it came with, here, let me show you. I've got it right here. Yeah. Oh, I got it in here. It came in this nifty little box came like that. It has this little blue screwdriver. There's two extra screws in there and two extra O-rings in there. None of which I've had to replace yet, but if I do, it's always good to have. I love when companies include extras. It's really awesome. So, anyway, 
And, oh, by the way, yes, this is a clone. It's not an authentic, but it's a one-to-one clone, and I can't say that it's any worse or any better than the other one or by our original Aether Tech. Um, you know, it is what it is. It, I got an insanely good deal on it, and I jumped on it. So well, let me show you the coil build I got in there. It is... Let's get as close as I can. Out. Fucking y'all up. There you go. It is five wraps. And the wire is 28 gauge wire. But there's four strands of 28 gauge wire that I twisted together using... I will give credit to him later. I don't know off the top of my head his name or his channel name but uh... he's a fellow youtuber and he uh... basically showed showed me the trick where you just get your canthal you get a really long strand of it you run it uh... you know through the you hook it around this pen and pull it and then just hold it with pliers and just twist it twist it twist it twist it you know in, in lieu of having a, a drill and all that shit which i don't right now so it'll work great and so i did that once and then I doubled it back over again, hooked it again, and did it again. So that came out to four strains of camp all twisted together. It's probably close to 24 gauge wire. Anyway, so I got five wraps on that. It's reading out at 0.6 ohms. And I'm running that maxed out at 30 watts on the E-Leaf iStick. And it has just been kicking out the flavor, kicking out the clouds every time, all the time. And it's on point. It's and surprisingly, it's not eaten through my juice. It's not eaten through my battery life. It's it's really great for a sub ohm build. Um, you know, I don't know that. I mean, for right now, that I would want to go any lower than point five, point six. I mean, in the future, yeah, I definitely want to get you know lower. I mean, of course, you know, you always want to go bigger and better. But for now, this is definitely a huge step up from what I was using, which was the uh, GS Air Tank, which was made specifically by Ely for the iStick. Awesome tank, really awesome tank with a 1.5 stock coil. But just even from that, this is just a huge step up. So anyway, back to the airflow. Like I said, you got these two side holes. You got. The airflow from the bottom pose, obviously. Then you got these on the side here. You see on the side you got a hole right there. And then you got a hole right there on the other side. Now those holes, I don't know if it's like this in all, mod in all uh, uh, RDS, but this I think is really cool. Those holes go straight out the negative bottom of the, the base of the negative post. I really, it's hard to see with this shitty camera and this angle but the these air hose go straight to the base uh, through here to the base of the negative post on each side and that helps go straight to your coil and that's awesome so that's another you know part of the airflow alright what else about the airflow oh yeah it's got these three holes on each side so it's a total of six holes on top of the two big holes on each side and you can line those up with these air holes or you can close them off and that adds airflow or decreases the airflow and okay the last part of the airflow which is really fucking cool and I'm pretty sure that the um, Plumdale was one of the innovators Aethertech was one of the first to do this I believe I, I know they're, they're not the only ones out there doing this now but they do have this top airflow they have these at least in my version they have these two airflow holes and how you open and close you can open and close those airflow holes off by spinning the drip tip you see this you see that black part going down as that black part goes down it lowers a Delrin piece, the Delrin insulator, that uh, that unblocks these air holes and allows air to flow through, which is awesome. Another thing it does is when it lowers that Delrin insulator, depending on how low you do it, I can depend. It makes the chamber smaller. It makes the amount of heat stay hotter because it's a smaller, um, it's a smaller space, you know. Um, it it's really cool. It just gives you a, a ton of options to to just 
put it exactly how you like to vape them, you know. You can do your your uh, mouth to lung hits. You can, I'm a lung hitter all the way. I do my big lung hits. Um, it's, there's just something for everybody on this on this RDA. So I'm going to go ahead, put it back together, juice her up, do one more vape for y'all. And uh, I think we can call it a day at that. So let me go ahead and get this screwed back on. So anyway, I'd give the plume veil four and a half out of five. Uh, just out of the sheer fact, I can't say they're perfect because I haven't tried that many RDAs on, on the market right now. But I will say that this was money well spent. And I am very fucking glad that I bought this. So let me throw some juice on there. I am vaping Cumulus by 13th Floor Elevapers. Awesome stuff. It's like s'mores, graham cracker cookie or something. I don't know. It's really great. Put three or four drops in there. I thought it would be that's all it takes. You know what? I Even in single coil mode, I usually like to leave the... Uh, I like to I like to leave both of the air holes open, so you know that's just me. But anyway, bye, folks.